Android Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to um, set an IP address to an existing high drive. So what you do is uh, you press F2 on the keyboard and uh, that will um, get you into system setup. Once you are inside system setup, you would uh, press down arrow one time to iDRAC settings. And once you are in iDRAC setting, uh, you would select network. And inside network, uh, here you would, um, by default, uh, it could be disabled. I'm not sure actually, but to make sure it's enabled. And um, for the NIC selection, uh, you can actually share uh, the NIC with your existing onboard NIC, but uh, usually uh, you, you would probably want to prefer just having a different um, or different switch, but using your dedicated um, port, which is uh, this port right here. So you would use that dedicated port and then connect it to a different switch just for out of band management. Um, Auto negotiation on, and then here is the uh, uh, most important setting here, the IPv4. Make sure these are enabled, and uh, I usually just enable DHCP and have a different DHCP server to uh, recognize all my iDRAC based on MAC addresses. And so I can fully control it there, and make sure that the, also the DNS is uh, controlled by DHCP is enabled and I disable IPv6 because I'm not sure why you would need to have IPv6 for iDRAC unless you're publishing it uh, publicly which I don't recommend. Alright, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you find it useful and um, if you do, please give it a thumbs up so that others can discover it and if you like this kind of content, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.